It's Wednesday and you know what that means. It's news! People! Wednesday! It's made from news! <clears throat> I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines, and let's just grind on. First up, the SEC's internal discussions about a 2018 speech by its former corporate finance director, Bill Hinman, have been revealed in new documents. The speech, which stated that Ether was not a security, raised some concerns among the SEC staff about the implications of such a statement for the agency's future position on Ether and other cryptocurrencies. The documents show that some SEC editors suggested adding caveats or clarifications to Hinman's speech to avoid contradicting himself or locking the agency into a stance that might be hard to change later. They also questioned whether Hinman's view was consistent with the Howley test a legal framework for determining whether an asset is indeed a security. The speech was given in the context of the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple, which accuses the company of selling its native token, XRP, as an unregistered security. Ripple has argued that XRP is not a security and that Hinman's speech supports its case. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said that the documents would be well worth the wait. U.S.-based crypto exchange Coinbase is seeking more clarity from the SEC on the regulation of digital assets. The company filed a lawsuit back in April asking the court to order the SEC to respond to its petition for rulemaking, which contained 50 specific questions about how the SEC determines whether a token is a security or not. The SEC has asked for more time to reply to Coinbase's request, claiming that it had not decided which action to take on the petition and that Coinbase's lawsuit has no merit. The SEC also said that it does not intend to issue new rules on crypto regulation, despite the statements of its chair, Gary Gensler, that the SEC has authority over most crypto assets. Coinbase's chief legal officer, Paul Grewal, criticized the SEC's response, saying that it had ignored the clear evidence of a decision by the SEC and refused to commit to any deadline. He also accused the SEC of increasing enforcement and issuing warnings to crypto exchanges without providing any kind of clear guidance. Coinbase argues that the SEC's current approach is vague, inconsistent, and unpredictable, and that it creates uncertainty and confusion for market participants. Domus, a decentralized social media app that allows users to tip each other in Bitcoin, is facing removal from the Apple App Store. The app uses a feature called Nzeps, which integrates the Lightning Network widget to enable fast and cheap Bitcoin transactions on the platform. However, Apple claims that Zaps violates its policy that requires all tips to be done through in-app purchases. The Domus team argues that Zaps are not used to buy or sell any digital content, but rather to support other users and content creators in a peer-to-peer -peer manner. The team also says that this is a critical moment for decentralized social media and peer-to-peer -peer transactions, and that Apple's decision will have far-reaching consequences for other platforms with similar features. Bitcoin tipping has become a popular way of rewarding content and expressing appreciation on social media platforms. Twitter and Reddit have both introduced crypto tipping features in recent years. Apple itself has approved an app with Bitcoin tipping in 2015. However, some crypto advocates accuse Apple of favoring Silicon Valley interests over decentralization and innovation. Rapper and entertainer Snoop Dogg is making waves in the Web3 space with the introduction of the Snoop Dogg Passport, an NFT pass that offers fans exclusive benefits and experiences connected to his upcoming concert tour. Each Snoop Dogg Passport NFT is created on the Ethereum scaling network Arbitrum and is available for purchase at 0.025 ETH, equivalent to about 43 bucks. Unlike many limited editions, the supply of these NFT passes is uncapped, so it's not limited at all, allowing users to buy up to 100 passes at a time. This evolving digital tour collectible grants holders access to behind-the-scenes footage and exclusive content from Snoop Dogg's highly anticipated High School Reunion Tour. <laughs> Hi, get it. In addition, the NFT pass provides entry to merchandise ticket sales and curated music playlists. Notably, purchasers of the NFT will receive an airdrop of Snoop Select's digital artwork, featuring contributions from renowned artists like Terrell Jones, Coldy, and Alien Queen. The collaboration for this NFT drop was facilitated by talent agency WME and executed in partnership with Transient Labs. And finally, Bitcoin technology company Blockstream has announced that it plans to reveal its highly anticipated application-specific integrated circuit, ASIC, miner in the third quarter of 2024. This marks the culmination of years of engineering work for the company. Blockstream CEO and co-founder Adam Back made the announcement during the company's inaugural media briefing. Initially scheduled for a 2022 launch, the release of the new ASIC miner has been delayed, and Back now expects it to be available in the latter half of 2024. Back explained that there are two manufacturing approaches, with the first being a test run, referred to as a shuffle run, which is anticipated to take place in the third quarter of the following year. During the media briefing, Back and his executive team also discussed other notable projects by Blockstream. 
These include Liquid, a federated sidechain that interacts with the primary Bitcoin blockchain, and Jade, Blockstream's flagship hardware Bitcoin wallet. And don't forget my favorite, please do, as in please do the following, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. That's my favorite. Thoughts on today's episode? Drop me a line in that comment section because I read those comments and they eat me up inside. Questions about our headlines or crypto in general? Take that plunge and ask Alex in the description below. Alex is always a great resource for all things Web3 and the metaverse, and that about does it for today. As always, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and we'll see all of your beautiful, shining faces tomorrow.